Som dziękuję. Som dziękuję. Som dziękuję. Som dziękuję. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours Council. I'm going to speak about uh, the document about S21. Uh, internal purges of the DK regime. With one document, we first want to draw your attention to the one recently admitted E-404-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-
there had been no paper during the Khmer Rouge. Now in the semi-derelict city, it was everywhere. Sheets of it blew through the streets. Children had begun to collect it. He picked up one parcel of bananas. He recognized the handwriting. It was the confession of a friend from Paris. When he asked where it had come from, a little boy led him down the back streets to a tool sign. Some of the documents that do survive talk about the killing of children, in particular, we want to draw your attention to killing a, a couple of children whose names survive on the OCIJ list in 393.2, number 12623, is a seven-year-old Trong Yang Phak. Trung Yang was described as a Vietnamese spy and killed on the 31st of October 1970. Number 12950 is a photograph of the photograph being displayed because that was survived or his rather. So this 11-year-old boy from the southwest zone entered S21 on the 12th of October, 1978. His photograph is on the screen. It's from the new collection from DC CAM, the 394.1, section number 610. You can show the other photograph. This is a 13-year-old girl. Her name is... Vin Tai Ngoc. She's number 101130 on the OCIJ list. She was from Sve Rang and entered S21 on the 1st of May, 1978. Her photograph is at E3 slash 8639. You'll also find she and her eight-year-old brother here on E3 slash 8463 and at 0001 6004 is a list of prisoners smashed on 14 May 1978 and she's number 69 her eight-year-old brother, her younger brother is number 578 on the list of prisoners smashed on the 27th of May 1978 that's it, E3, E463 and the ERN is, uh, I'm going to refer to that document quite a bit, E4-6-3. The ERN in Khmer is 0 0 6 0 3 9 7 4 I'd like to now read some passages from various historians, journalists, and others who studied the DK regime about and talk about what they have said briefly about what they have said about S21 and purges in general. Starting with Chandler, his book Paul Pot, E3 slash 17, at page 120, the Khmer ERN is 0-1-1-1-5-0-8. In French, it's 0-1-2-4-2-7-5-3. And in the chapter on purges in DK, in 1875 to 1977, Chandler wrote the most extensive documentary source for study of democratic Kampuchea is the archive of 4,000 confessions assembled between 1975 and early 79 at the regime's interrogation facility in Chiang Sai. 
ចំឡាយរបស់ដំរបមនៅទស្សនាអាកាសដែលមានក្នុងបានបានបង្ហាញថាមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនម
and began summoning the commanders and political commissars of the Eastern Zone Divisions and regional brigades to meetings where they were disarmed and detained. The more importance among them were sent to Tool Slang. The others killed on the spot. Around the middle of May, when Sao summoned him to a meeting also. And then Short explains that Sao Khen first sent a bodyguard to the meeting to see what Pak wanted. Then he sent his nephew, Chuan, to the meeting. Finally, he sent his protege, Sao Canal to the meeting, and all of them failed to return. Short writes, at that point, Ken concluded that Pauk was out to destroy him. But he still refused to believe that Paul was responsible. On the 28th, he set out for Phnom Penh, accompanied only by his family and bodyguards, to seek a meeting with Paul to try to set matters straight. When they reached the east bank of the Mekong, opposite the capital, they were attacked by Sun Sen's forces. And Short tells us that that night, Ken shot himself. His wife and children were captured as they were preparing his body for burial. And in accordance with the Buddhist rites, they too were killed. Short says that Becker has also written quite a bit about Tuslang in her book, E3 Slash. And in talking about the early years, she writes, and this is at French, ERN 008-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-2-5-
จนตรงกรุ๊ปในการบอสมาร์ทได้สำคัญจำปัวรัฐบาลชั้นเมันตีคุมคลุนส่วนจำลายทำไมเมื่อได้เกี่ยวกับท่าตัวสไลน์ตระบันบางการลาง Hi Victory, ban sese ban to tiet tempo ban to kui na tempo do dai ne ban sese ta. Ban mien abai kui sang san nam lai ta. Tu slang kui chi kuk dai thu de la cam chia propon. While the size and location prove that it can only have been coordinated by the central government leadership, and its excess thus not attributable to Vietnamese infiltrators, as DK leaders have claimed. In a book called Eyes of the Pineapple, E3 slash 733. Seven three three three. In English, at zero zero two two seven zero. There is no translation. The author writes. The Pol Pot regime became more and more dependent on China. Especially for its military support, it is difficult to imagine that the Pol Pot regime was unaware of the catastrophic collision course the country was on. Still, its leaders were too proud. As long as they remain convinced of the correctness of their policies, they are only capable of blaming all mistakes and excesses on traitors. They would never be able to achieve a broad united front against Vietnam. The spiral of purges and violence had developed something like momentum of its own, making the party leaders already endowed with more than average doses of suspicion, even more paranoid. The more they purged, the more traitors they saw, the more people turned against them, the more they were inspired to trust even fewer people. In the next section, he entitled "Paranoia Fed Terror Gets Out of Hand." He writes the full slang intake of the first five months of 1978 was 5,768 persons. Nearly the same as for all of 77, even high-ranking CPK members were not considered. One hundred percent loyal to Pol Pot. Pol Pot regime is not a monolithic regime. 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 Pol Pot regime is You could have be asked, please, to be played with sound. Look, but then, if you want to play the AV unit, you can do that. We're not getting any of 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 that.
the unit is not ready, I could go on and come back to this. Uh, so I don't know if there's a way to find out. I don't know if there's a way to find out. I don't know if there's a way to find out. I don't know if there's a way. Thank you. So, Mokun. So, um, there are several documents, particularly statements from Nguyen Che, that show that while people were arrested and killed on the basis of confessions, the leadership didn't believe the confessions, didn't have any trust in them. And I'd like to say, uh, I'll come back to the video just after this. The book, of course, uh, Behind the Killing Fields, E3 slash 4202. In Khmer, 0085. Said that when he read confessions, he found the crimes that some of the prisoners were accused of were benign. He said some people were not guilty of anything, but they had walked somewhere, warned something, or ate something without permission, or they were arrested just because another prisoner had accused them of wrongdoing without proof. They normally confessed when they were painfully and seriously tortured. We are young. Ngun ko hai chi chap ngun chi ban di tha. We can play the Van Nat clip. Hey, khiem som an nhia da len nip bang hai nei sai vid ao ro ba Van Nat vinh som lu pat an nhia. Ang dum le an nhia ao bang hai sai vid ao Van Nat dai mien som leng phong. Am ki de doi. There was a list that Duk used to decide which person should be killed, which person should be kept alive. On the list, he circled my name and wrote keep for use next to it. The rest he marked to be destroyed. That's how I survived. When I saw the list after my release, I was shocked that I'd survived because of just one sentence, keep for use. Otherwise, my life would have ended there. His use was to paint propaganda pictures of Pol Pot, brother number one. His art saved his life. When he was freed, he captured on canvas memories of the treatment of the fellow inmates. He was carried like an animal. I heard him speaking while they carried him. He didn't scream, but he didn't speak like a human being. He was barely alive. He'd lost his mind. He wasn't in a state to know his pain. There were between 30 and 50 prisoners in my room. If we wanted to sit up, we had to ask permission from the guards. Otherwise, we had to remain lying like that. Going back to the confessions, these torture produced. Again, Nun Che is quoted in the Tet Sambat book, E3 slash 4202, uh, the book the, at Khmer 0085-8359, and to the next page. In French, uh, it's 0084-9449. And in English, at zero zero seven five seven five three seven. The author's right that in another confession, 
The book states, quote, Now it reaches the top leader who betrayed Ang Kao and Doik Manchea. What do you mean, he asked Doik, head of the notorious SPD-1? Confession points to Bang Hem. Doik said, using the alias for Q Sampang. Don't say careless things, Don't report this again, and don't say it again. I don't believe people's confessions that lay blame on Kusampan. It was very dangerous, Nunche now says, to I suspected Doik of betrayal at that time. But I did not say anything because Vietnamese troops were attacking us along the border and we were busy trying to find a way to prevent an invasion. We did not know what Doik was doing or whether he was good or bad. Doik was not happy with me because I always blamed him for making mistakes. Doik remained silent. Never mentioned Kusampan to Nunchea again. And then it quotes Nunchea saying, I felt that if they now accuse Kusampan, that means later they would accuse all the people, and I would be one of those people. According to the Tetsambat book, even Pol Pot, did not believe there was confessions were valid. He ate one night in English, and Kamai 0085362, and in French at 0084945, and on to the next page, they discuss an interview with a division commander, Moon Nim, who was under, uh, served under Sun Sen and Pol Pot. And he talks about a uh, meeting where he said Pol Pot went on to say that some few people accused of being part of the CIA or KGB were actually innocent and only confessed because they were tortured. Quotes Pol Pot is saying, some confessed to being part of the CIA before they were born. Evidence of the centers, the leadership's knowledge, and clear approval of the arrests and killings is contained in documents such as E3-1870, which is a one-page telegram. And in that, it's a note from Pong to the Agricultural Minister, Chae Soon. It says, quote, your detention was decided on by the Standing Committee of the Party Center and not by some other level or part of the party, the Standing Committee of the Party Center. E3 slash 181 is a telegram, again one page, telegram 11 from Sun Sen to respected brother 
Nhào chu Grand Uncle and Bong Grand Uncle Noon uh, in Arca uh, stated uh, the 14th of April 1978. Uh, and I direct your attention to point five in uh, that telegram which says, Comrade Tal, Division 290 Secretary, captured two UN heads ages 17 and 27. They were sent to S21. So here's a telegram from reporting on the sending of people to S21. We think it's very important for your honors to consider the prior statements of the two accused in this case, their explanations for the purges in S21. So I'd ask now another quick plate. And this is from um, Facing Genocide, and that's E3, for some reason in my notes, I don't have the E3 number, but I'll come back to you later. It's E3, 109-2.3R. If we could play again with sound, clip 2. សូមសោតទោះចាក់ ពីតួលេខបិទបកនោះទេបិទណាស់ <coughs> 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 អង្គពលបានមើលពុទ្ធគេមិនអាចបន្ទោសខ្ញុំបានទេពីព្រោះថាខ្ញុំមិនដឹងអ្វីទាំងអស់ខ្ញុំមិនដឹងរឿងអ
ពីកិច្ចសម្ព័ន្ធរបស់ខ្ញុំ ຄົມຊິບຕາຄໍສະກິມຊິບເຊວຽລະສີມາຍິດຈິດມາສັກກະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະຕະ
referring to Pol Pot, Q some guns, ពីអត់តែងតែហៅពួកគេមកនិយាយលេងជាមួយទាំងអស់ណាស់ Triple zero, Barang, four, zero, zero, four, two, four, zero, one, three. Q. Sampan told Header, quote, there were people whose lives were affected. I would like to stress that they were affected by UN agents, by Khmer people who were UN undercover agents in our authority lives. Those people held important positions. Some of them were in charge of major zones and they distorted the line. This was an attack on us from the inside out, an attempt to attack us from the inside out. ចាត់តណាវាយើងពីខាងក្នុងចេញទៅវិញបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបានបាន
ta miền cả này đây nè mình miền tôi quay cho bạn cái chọn một căn này thế kia rồi phong thay ta ở đây dù thay trước ở miền chọn một căn này nam mình nè mình miền tôi thế ấy Here's a point like a man chop a gun at the moment. So, the executor was in fact a gentleman at that gate, the man's lucky to put it to the bot man take as far as I can guess. Never time, you cannot pass you in Jung. And no one was wrongly accused. Jung, I think I'll get a man at Chop a gun at Nam and I said, There is one old man in the West. Lie that me and Manum let more be by Jung could drop my chop a gun at the Jung boy to come put Kuji and Manum let the smart drunk day. And we would submit to you in our final arguments that that person was Chu Chen's deputy. I'll save that argument for later. Your Honor, going back to the list of the co-investing judges have to be in judges of those whose names exist on surviving documents from S21 as having been prisoned in that institution. We draw your attention that the list includes, by our count, 67 prisoners who are 14 or younger. Of course, it's important to keep in mind that the testimony of Kuei, who was named as Sosatai, kept the list that the names of children who were accompanied by parents were generally not recorded. But in the list that were named to record it, we kept, on the OCIJ list, we count 67 prisoners who were reported. Draw your attention to three 10-year-olds. These are OCIJ numbers, 5307, 12124, and 12509. Numbers 1565, Kumei, Pro, Ayu, Abram, Baitanam, Nan, Kanonum, Lake, Rian, Abram, Hopram, 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 and the very youngest prisoner on the list is a six-year-old girl named Min, who was identified as the daughter of brother number 10, Leonard S. 21 on 18 December 78. She appears in number 1149. In that same interview that I've shown previous clips about Q. Sampan was asked about children in S21. I'd like to ask that the four be played now with sound, please. Thank you. 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 Nè dùng phía, cô mà không bên trên cái bằng post nơi so một thầy mối mẹ dụ đọc cho nằm thá Là, tôi không biết gì cả lời lý do Chúng tôi cả nơi này, khi mà tôi mua lại hai nơi tế Vẫn ta Chứ này bà in rê dô của Efface Buffet in tụ 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 เรื่องเสียชีวิตดิบวุ่นเวียนลูกเตยยูธาเกิดซ้อนปอลปอดบัดขมิ้นปอลปอดซ้อนเล็กแม่รู้บัดขมิ้นขมายกระห้องได้เ
Les quelques millions de Cambodgiens, du Capuchier Krom qui restent actuellement. Je vous dis, c'est un immense N'est-ce pas? Alors, comparé à ce petit F20, vous les faites oublier le. And again, I remind you, the OCIJ has reported 15,101 <coughs> In his interview with OCIJ in Khmer at 0015-6690, in French at 0015-6695, and in English at 0015-6948, Kyu San Pan told the investigating judges when he was asked about he said, I observed that some members of the said he didn't know of any of the arrests. The question was, did, do you still maintain that you did not learn of any arrests before 1979? And Kyu Sung Pan answered, not any. I observed that some members of the Central Committee disappeared one after another. And then if you look at E3 slash 18, uh, so the author by Kyu Sun Pan at French 0055 Near the middle of 1978, I did hear of massive arrests and atrocities committed to Kyu Sampan province. It was my wife, who in tears told me of the atrocities committed against her brothers and relatives and many innocent victims. And in regards to Kyu Sampan's claim to be the most innocent victim of not knowing anything, not even hearing of S-21 or knowing any arrests, I direct your attention to one small point in the book behind the killings, E-3-SAW-2 at page 95, in Khmer at 0086826, and in French at 0084924, where Lin Chi explained that he and Paul Pot always ate their meals together and Kyu Sam Pan often ate with them. And Kyu Sam Pan often ate with them. And we'd also draw your attention to E3 slash 1515. This is a document authored by Hu Jin Sok, who talked about one of the three ghosts. This is dated 18 May 1977 after his arrest and incarceration at S21. In Khmer, he ran into two ghosts in Khmer, 8923, in English, 0076902. In English, 0076902. I'm not going to go into the content. I'm only going to read to whom his message was addressed. So it's not the content, but to whom he addressed his message. So, 
in this document. And he understands what that means. And he addresses his plea to the leadership of Comrade Hanscom. This might be a little bit bạn lộc tiến tất cả những cụ tại bị ក៏ឲ្យអនុរក្ខមន្ត្រីគុំខាងនាំខ្លួនលោកគេសម្ព័ន្ធទៅកាន់បន្ទុករងចាំខាងក្រោមសារសាវនាការនិងមកក៏